Hey, Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed. If I say to you, it could be a person. And tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal read with me, you could go to the description box below and uh, head over to rootsandrewards.com. I am also on Instagram and Facebook, but for the month of April, I will not be on those um, on those social media pages. I am striking. I am taking TikTok side, so contact me on my uh, Gmail, Roots and Rewards Gmail, or on uh, TikTok or YouTube. All right, and if you book a personal read through uh, PayPal or Cash App, just message me, all right? message me uh, through Gmail with your zodiac sign picture and questions you want most clarity on all right so earth signs <clears throat> you're smoking a bitch out yeah yeah you're smoking a bitch out you just uh, you know you're cleaning up a messy situation without how my sage just popped off and went on the desk and the flame went out so the flame is going out on somebody in your life you are cleaning cleaning up your life here I feel cleaning up your life you're getting enlightenment you could have Leo in your chart somewhere uh, I did do a pre shuffle for you guys I remembered to do the pre shuffle so it looks like you're needing uh, to give forgiveness around an ending of a relationship or even maybe a death. All right, so giving forgiveness to your people for the ending of the relationship or giving, you know, giving yourself forgiveness. Some of you guys may be feeling like a failure, like you fail at your relationships. You end your relationships uh, maybe too abruptly, some of you. Some of you guys don't give people the opportunity to show their deck of cards to you. And, uh, yeah so you're not a failure because this this relationship didn't work out but there is forgiveness that needs to be given to yourself and to your people now there is service here so you could be in the service or this person could be a service member i feel like you also you earth signs like to be of service to people you like giving to people I feel good when I can help others so a lot of you guys uh, you know you could be healers some of you guys are doctors cardiologists uh, some of you guys work for funeral homes others of you uh, you work for transit <clears throat> or your people Somebody's love language may be acts of service to do for you, or you, you, that's your, that's your love language. You like to be of service to people. You like helping other people. All right. So what else I got here in the pre-shuffle is to the sea. So you needing to let go of your, your past situation, your past narratives. Somebody could have been born on the 7th or July. So to the sea, so I feel like you're rowing away from this past situation, you're letting the ending be an ending, you're forgiving yourself, you're not going to feel like a failure in this connection anymore, and you're just going to calmer waters. Now, you do have a spirit, you have a guide on the other side that's helping you through this, since it came underneath the death card. So you have your angel pushing you to calmer waters towards a soulmate so there is a soulmate here penguins penguins um they uh they're they're forever it's a forever love they're intertwined they locked in they're locked in for life uh you could be 41 your person could be 41 14 april 1st or january 4th so there's there's some comforting coming in from someone here so you're rowing into a soulmate connection. You're rowing into a lover that's going to have the key to your heart, that really is going to comfort you, 
um, you're coming out of feeling dissatisfied and bored with, uh, you know, the options or bored, you know, just being by yourself here. You're going towards uh, getting, gaining more confidence. You're going towards your happiness and joy and pleasure. You're going to feel lit up. Some of you guys are wanting to join the military also. I see Army. I see Marines here. Or maybe your children are thinking about it. But you're going towards uh, a commitment, Taurus. See, once you turn your back away from, you know, all of uh, maybe the failures that you've had in your life, maybe you feel like you've failed a lot of things in your life, and now you're like, okay, I, I need to become wiser. I need to become more aware, self-aware. I need to elevate. It's time for me to sit down with myself and really think about a commitment. So I think some of you guys are contemplating committing to someone, but this may be hard for you because you may be non-committal. You may be in non-committal energy, and that's why you have so many endings and you ask forgiveness a lot from people. You're constantly asking people to forgive you because you're, you weren't elevated at that point in your life. You were dropping the ball a lot on yourself, and now it's like, okay, I see where I've done wrong. Right? I see where I've done wrong. I'm getting older. I'm becoming wiser. And now I know my purpose. Now I know that I have to service. I have to service the people that are around me, that they can't just service me, but I have to service them. So understanding even reciprocation is needed on both ends. All right, so what's coming in for the earth signs? So right now you're just committing to elevating yourself. And that's a really good place to be. You may be coming in contact with somebody that is uh, older than you, wiser, uh, wiser than you in, in the spiritual realm they're spiritually gifted they may be the one that services people helps people heal there's fortune and abundance so the wheel is going to turn in your favor you're going to get what you want you're going to feel abundant again what's coming in for the earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn what's coming in is coming in you could have a younger earth sign coming in that wants to value you but this person is a little prideful they got they got an ego on them they're young and they really don't know what they're going to be bringing you they really don't know what to bring you they really don't know what what it is that you you want or you need So they're approaching with something like a small offer in hand. They're traveling in for you. This person is is walking away from maybe a, a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra energy. They see value in you. They're closing out past cycles, past chapters with people. And this person is looking at you in high regard. They see the value you bring. They see that you're standing tall and you're standing bold and you're looking good. There's tower moments here, though. There's a sly fox going after the bunny rabbit. So, I don't know. I don't know who that sly fox is. If it's this person or someone else, but you have a younger earth sign coming in for you with expressions of love. They come in very romantic, like a hopeless romantic. They're a hopeless romantic. 
wanting victory. Leo wanting to be your backbone, wanting to be have strength for you. They're wanting to be seen. They wanted to be recognized. They're wanting you to see them above the crowd. Like they want you to see them. Leo, they see a lot of strength and a lot of courage. They know they know that you've been through a lot in your life. All right. So this person could come up very young and youthful. They could have children, a boy and a girl. Uh, this could also be, for some of you, a past person that is feeling nostalgic that you are once in a partnership with, and they're wanting to come in and grow it with you. If this is a new person, this person just feels childlike, like you guys are outside playing with the frogs, and you're just doing childlike things. They want to pet your pussy. <laughs> this person wants relationship. And this is falling right underneath the Hierophant. Telling you I want to grow. I want commitment. I feel childlike with you. I have, have a good time with you. And I want a partnership with you. Healthy partnership. So there is no indecision with this person. There's no indecision indecision about wanting to grow it and how they feel uh, connected to you like a childlike connection playful this person is playful now this person doesn't have deceit behind them they're not hiding anything from you they're not hiding they're not hiding uh, in heartbreak. They're not hiding toxicity or they're not evil. Yes, have they been through heartbreak? Yes, they've been through the pits of it, pits of hell they've been in the pits of hell and back. But this person will express what they've been through, their toxicity. They'll be very truthful with their obsessions, their addictions, their manipulation, their behaviors, their toxic behaviors. They'll be very honest with what's hurt them. So I don't feel like they're hiding anything from you. Capricorn, Cancer. They just come in wanting to celebrate, wanting to have a good time. They're actually very emotionally balanced. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and they're they're bored. You know they have you know they have these options, but they're not really you know really excited about these options. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you're not really excited about your options at this point. But you are coming out of feeling wounded and victim of your circumstances. You're not, I don't feel like you're, you're as beaten down as you once were. Maybe from that sly fox. You were the rabbit and this sly fox was trying to come in and wound you. But you have too much value here that you're not going to be tampered with. You're not going to let somebody come in and defeat you and make you feel some type of way. You show a lot of strength. You're not going to fall for the foolery or the fuckery. Who's this person? Uh, just so the Ten of Cups with truth. All right. So somebody's coming in and being very truthful with you. Letting you know that they want, they can, they see a long-term partnership here. They see wish fulfillment. There's honesty coming in here. Someone's coming in honest. Who's who's this person coming in honest for the earth signs?
maybe uh, getting a new debit card in the mail, a credit card. Magician. All right, so this person's manifesting you. A possible Sagittarius is coming in, letting you know that, you know, they see potential in having a family with you and growing a connection with you. Um, this, this individual is very patient, and they do manifest what they want when they put their mind to it. They know they have all the tools to get what they want. Someone could do is a carpenter. Sagittarius. Yeah, there's rowing that there's you. You're rowing away from conflict. This person is wanting to row to calmer waters with you. They want to protect you. They see you as very mysterious, very uh, knowledgeable and very intuitive. And very quiet in your energy. You could be a, a introvert. Your name could start with a B or a J. Somebody wants a B J. All right. Could be Pisces. Who is this person coming in? They could be very intuitive. Also, they're not here to fight. They're not here to battle. They're not here to have you, you know, compete for their time and attention. energy feels good yeah feels good someone wants to take you off the market they want to be a lover of yours Gemini energy earth energy this person's reaching out they feel like the heavens opened up and they they've been waiting for a partnership they've been waiting for a connection they feel like the heavens opened up and brought you to them person could be in the next three days to three months don't get too held on the there's the, the page of pentacles again so and the strength card again so leo or earth sign towards Virgo, capricorn somebody feels like you could tame them and you you pet them so nicely you pet their ego you comfort them you show them consistency and stability this person could be bringing a gift in for you, some kind of like fruit basket with pomegranates and, oh, the emperor, hey daddy, <laughs> could be a father figure, mother figure, this person has an empire, this person is well established, they could be a business owner, they dictate, they sit on their throne and they allow people to approach them, they do have the, uh, the ego. They're not here to stress you out or knock you down or sabotage. They're actually here to pour into their empress, matching divine counterparts. So Taurus, Aries energy. This person comes to feed you emotionally, wants, wanting a new emotional start with you could be Virgo, Libra energy. Again, childlike. You bring this person, if they're older or even if they're younger, you bring some kind of purity uh, to this person. Like you take them back in time, but yet you're both emperor and empresses. You're both established. You're both, you have love of self. You're feeding into yourself and you're, you know, overflowing in this love energy to give to one another. Looks like both of you are wanting growth here. Really nice. All right, so you have divine counterparts. You have two people that know themselves, love themselves, and both are ready for commitment. Hierophant and the High Priestess was out, right? So you are divinely favored with these energies out here. You are favored, you are blessed, you are protected. Your children are protected. 
Your children may be helping you more around the house and giving you more of an emotional support at this time, or their children are. You had some rats around you. Let's see who these rats are that were around you or that you're clearing out. Who are these ratty people? Who's a sly fox? Possible water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio approaching very quickly towards you. Sly Fox. This person has a hard time seeing you happy because they're not happy. Yeah, this person is trapped in their head. They don't want to see the truth. They don't want to be honest with themselves and they see that they now have competition or they fighting with people coming to fight with you possibly but you're like nah I'm turning my back away from you I'm not going to think about the spilt milk I'm not going to think about you getting me in my head or putting me in competition all I'm going to think about is the ending that it's an end it's a dead end relationship and we're going to keep it as an end. I forgive you for what you put me through. I forgive you for what you did to this person that passed. And now I'm ready to have my Ten of Cups. And I'm manifesting my Ten of Cups. I'm no longer waiting on messages from you. I'm no longer sitting in conflict over you. It's okay. I forgive you. Scorpio energy. So yeah, your past person was your sly fox, the rats, uh, Aries of Scorpio. They sabotaged you, they knocked you down, but you're not allowing this person to knock you down anymore. You're allowing this tower to crumble. It's, it's built on a solid, a faulty foundation. It could have been solid at one point, but now it's burning the fuck down. And uh, because this person lacked putting effort, they lacked coming in enlightened, they lacked putting work into themselves. Like this person really doesn't value themselves. They don't prioritize themselves. So it's, they couldn't give you this energy because they didn't have this energy within themselves. So you're keeping this relationship an end. This emperor and empress here. Let's let's get more about that energy because you're over. Looks like you're over the past. You, you're making bold moves. You're being courageous. You're being very empathetic to yourself too. You're being very kind to yourself, and you're getting rid of the fear and the illusions of you not having another great partnership, or you know you're not feeling good in your own energy. Emperor and Empress. Let's see. Who's this person coming in for my collective? Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, just a King of Pentacles. So very stable, uh, materialistic. They, they like their fine things, their fine wine and shit. They work very hard. This person, they don't come in to reject you. They don't come in to backstab you. They don't come in to burden you. They don't keep, they, they're not coming in to keep, get you stuck in any type of shit, all right? So maybe you were fearing like, oh my God, you know, or maybe this person fears about you. Oh, you've had so much chaos in your life. You're going to bring me chaos, but no, the chaos is no longer. This is past energy. This is not where either one of you are sitting. The emperor and the empress, they don't put up with bullshit. So this is past energy. What this energy is bringing in now is a, a cup of love and the truth and clarity. They, they, they're very honest. They come in with heartfelt uh, communication. So it looks like the emperor is bringing in truthful, honest communication for the empress. And the truthful, honest communication is that they want to feed into you emotionally. Very nice. So 
Who is this person coming in for the earth signs? They're charging. See? Charging. They want to talk. They have a lot to say. They Right now, they're, they're overflowing. They're overflowing with love energy for you. So I feel like you already know this person. They're coming in to value the fuck out of you. Ace of Pentacles. New stable beginning under the new emotional beginning. They want to put effort here. They want to bring happiness here. They want to enlighten the relationship. What I am seeing is something may have happened between the two of you that someone sabotaged it. There's some kind of self-sabotage here. There was a tower moment between you and this person. Somebody was upset. Somebody upset you. Somebody threw out the burning building. And I feel like it was this person. They were unbalanced about something. The justice is uh, was in reverse. So whatever they did here was not justified. They want to heal that. They see you as the star. They're coming in quick in the next eight days or so. They sabotage it because they were in their, their immaturity. They were in their insecurities. Like they are allowed, yeah, they got up in their head. They allowed themselves to talk themselves out of the connection. So that's why they walked away. So this person walked away from you. But they're manifesting you back to get the Ten of Cups with you. Mm. I I didn't know if there was any. Uh, it didn't look like there was anything. That happened between you guys here that was destructive but this person was destructive here with their their communication or lack of so it's your choice if you want to take this person back after they threw a tower moment after they sabotaged it I don't really feel like you're worrying about it. You're not you're not up at night about it, right? You're not really stressed about it. You're not even expecting this person to come in for you. I don't think you're even expecting this person to turn back around towards you. After, you know, they they made a decision to walk away and choose someone else or just be like Peter Pan. Are you going to want to take this person? They're stalking you. Temperance. This person wasn't balanced. This person was dealing with heartbreak. They were dealing with sadness. They were dealing with it. That's why they held back from you. They were still dealing with some hurt. So this person may have feared that you were going to hurt them. Yeah, they were coming up as the wounded warrior. Maybe they didn't feel like they could match your energy or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, death. So there was an ending of this relationship for some of you guys. With the Sagittarius... Somebody's the Sagittarius Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but they want to rebirth it. They want to transform the connection from the ending. They want to spark it, spark it back up. And they know you're gonna like you're gonna be really cold and aloof with them. But there's still passion here person wants a new passionate beginning so they're kind of with truth they're coming in with passion they're coming with the, their emotions 
and they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles security, right? So it's looking good. It looks like you're not going to be single uh, much longer. Nine of Pentacles keeps coming in reverse. And there's the Emperor again, bringing victory in, figuring out what, where to move their chess piece next. Someone may like to wear red a lot. Someone may have an infinity tattoo on their arms. They could have been listening to other people. And they just made a stupid decision without even thinking about it. Yeah, like they just fucking leaped and, and said, Okay, oh well, I'm, I'm not going to leap towards you. I'm going to leap towards this other direction. They're very impulsive, this person. They don't... They like whimsical. They're kind of like flaky and flighty. It, yeah, Aries can tend to be like that. Sure. Yeah. So they didn't calculate their next move. They allowed people to come in and and narrate and made made them think some type of shit. And then they caused a tower moment. This caused them to walk away. This caused them to sabotage themselves. This caused them to break their own damn heart. And now they're like, shit, I gotta move towards this person because this person has healing properties. This person is a star. They're beautiful. This person comforts me like no other. This, could, this person could be darker skinned, could have facial hair, maybe wear very tight pants and nice looking shoes. They got a style to them. They'll be leaping in for you. I don't know if you want to deal with them, though. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know. Let's see, are you going to want to deal with them? They got a lot to prove at this point right they better be coming in with some fucking substance they better be coming in with truth otherwise you ain't they have to come in with clear communication like decisive like know what the fuck you want and how you want it stop being this parakeet and flying the fucking coop and just in fucking la la fantasy land and you know your actions affect people it's not all about you. You have to think about how your communication style affects other people. So there's going to be communication between the two of you. Centering the read is this. The emperor is speaking to the emperor is truthful. All right? <clears throat> honesty about how they cloaked yeah they ghosted you the hermit card with the five of swords that's saying that they they went into introspection they hid away they sabotaged themselves virgo energy you maybe have done this you cloaked yourself you were sitting in the dark you were thinking pessimistically and negatively about you know this person or this is how they were thinking about you somebody was feeling like they were going to be snakes <laughs> like what the fuck somebody felt like grave graveyard maybe you work the graveyard shift you don't get enough rest so this person doesn't get enough rest they allow you know they get in the head and they start thinking the worst case scenarios so they're going to tell you why they cloaked away, why they ghosted you, but uh, they, they, uh, you know how I feel about people that ghost. I just feel like there's a reason, you know, most of the time it's insecurities, right? Or, yeah, if, if, if you have like nothing, no conflict with the person and they ghost you, Something in the connection was either too deep that they couldn't match you. They saw your value and they couldn't, they didn't feel like they could match you. So they were feeling insecure. Uh, or 
they didn't see, they saw your value, but it didn't match up with where, where they were going in their life, right? On the same life path. But I just feel like once, once somebody ghosts and they don't communicate with you, you, you're being deceitful. You're being deceitful. So, you know, you're in your worth. I don't think it really affected you that much that this person um, cloaked away from you. You're still in your abundance. You still know what you bring. You know that you're, you're a good fucking option. That this person would have been well cared for if they would have stuck around. But I just feel like it turned you off. That this person couldn't be honest with you. So who is to say that this person is not going to do some dumb shit again? So I don't know. Are you going to give them benefit of the doubt? There's a judgment call being made. So this person's making a judgment call to come in with communication and show you that they want abundance. And they, they're... For they're telling you that they were fortunate to have met you. Yeah, coming in, traveling. They could be traveling from a distance to come and see you, exploring with you. You could live in Nebraska, Alaska. You could have, you know, huskies. What's this? Chariot again on top of chariot? Huh. That's not even supposed to be in there, that card. So you got two movements. So they, they're traveling very, very fast to you. Very, very fast. Are they being very fast? They want to commit. This person wants a healthy partnership. They see partnership with you. They're stalking you. They're in lack energy right now. They're in lack energy about coming in with a commitment. Taurus. This Taurus is trying to elevate themselves they're trying to think clearly they're trying to become emotionally balanced in their life could be a king of cups coming in eight hours eight days eight months four months you could be 48 born in 84 traveling with a lot of passion emperor again so they uh they're emperoring up Aries, heavy Aries energy. They're heavy earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you may have two people here that are stalking your ass, an Aries and an earth sign. These people want victory. They want to be seen by you. They want to be acknowledged by you. They want to be stroked by you, Capricorn. I just saw the devil card. These people are highly obsessed with your energy. They can't, they, f they already feel bound to you. This person's bound to you. They want you to dominate them. They're not trying to come in sneaky. That's what I wanted to see. I was asking myself in my head, is this person coming honest and genuine? And the Ace of Swords is out here, but I was still questioning it because how they left you. They left in, they left in despair. They left in like mental conflict. And they weren't leaving to be sneaky to you or deceitful to you, or going towards other options, or, you know, trying to give you illusions. That's not what they were trying to do. They weren't trying to give you illusions. They were just sitting in their own doubt, self-doubt, imposter syndrome. They were doubting themselves if they could live up to your expectations of them. So this person is, they come up as an emperor, but they have, they have insecurity and doubts about what they bring, probably because they're they're younger energy. Strength card, Leo energy. They're gaining up the strength to come in for you. Magician. Yeah, they're manifesting. They're manifesting to come into you. So expect uh, some kind of communication for from a person here that... Uh, sabotage themselves 
I don't think they really sabotaged you per se. They sabotaged themselves because they had an emperor or empress here that they really felt uh, divinely guided to and they dropped the bull because they got in their own insecurities and self-doubt. That's what it's looking like. So was it intentional this person did what they did? I don't think so. I think they're passionate about you. They just felt like maybe you were going to reject them. They felt like you're going to reject them, so they rejected you first. Yep. They didn't, yeah, they doubted themselves. Holding the hot rod for you. But they felt like they weren't balanced. They didn't have enough value to bring to you. up for you guys today. Got all springy like. Are you going to take them? Are you going to take this communication? Oh, devil. Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn em Emperor. Devil and the Emperor. You just may think this person's toxic as fuck. But there's lust energy. There's this physical attraction here. This person is obsessed. Highly attractive obsessed with your energy. They can't get away, away from you. They might have s stored themselves away from you, but mm, they're still feeling attached to you. Are you giving this emperor a shot? Eh, you may have cut off communication with them. You may have blocked them. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Alright, so you basically, you block this person and you're like, alright, there's no wish fulfillment here. There's no, uh, this person doesn't value my time. And, uh, it's a wrap. It's an ending. So, yeah. you're protecting your energy now. You're defensive. So, you're gonna be defensive with this person when they come in. You might keep it an end. Ending. So you're aware that this person sabotages themselves. You might feel a little nostalgic when they come in. You may think about it, but I don't know if you're going to take the bait. I think you're just tired of the bullshit of people. Let's see. Girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used. That's where, that's how you feel. Like this person's just coming in to charm you, use you, abuse you. So you need to set boundaries with them and not enable them to treat you any type of fucking way they want to treat you. They may suffer with addictions. Phoenix, you're rising like the phoenix. You're going towards stability and growth and you're performing a lot better. You're showing flexibility. So you, some of you guys may want to show some flexibility with this person. You're ascending from the endings. You're ascending from the separation. And your relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So there's a lot of inner child work that's needing to be done. This person is coming in with a love call for you. With truth, clarity, they're looking for redemption. They're coming in very powerful for you. All right. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, let's close it out because I'm getting tired. Let's see.
So if you guys, uh, I have Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking uh, Group that you can join. It's uh, a weekly Zoom call with me and the Roots and Rewards community, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We talk about our week, what's going on with us. Um, we do uh, meditation, healing music, also have topics of discussion. So there's a little bit of a, a lecture in between everything so come and join if you're unable to uh, afford it I do have available slots uh, Rob donated money to you guys so contact me don't be ashamed if you can't afford it I'm welcoming you guys in I'm getting more out of it than money right I like to see the growth in you guys I'm growing along the way with you so come and join RSVP on my website, rootsandrewards.com, under services and bookings. <clears throat> rock bottom. So some of you guys have hit rock bottom 10. And uh, you're going to the golden palace now. So you're going towards your riches, your abundance, your stability. After being down and out, you're getting it this year too. 2023 is here. Uh, something may have happened to you in 2010 that really made you hit rock bottom. Possibly this uh, this death of uh, this person. They could have been a uh, Scorpio energy. Uh, making a choice. So you could be 31, 32, 33, 23, 21. Um, you're making a choice. You're making better choices these days. <clears throat> You're walking a brighter path. You're going to have two doors to choose from. Encouragement. 54, 45, May 4th, April 5th. Encouragement. Giraffe could be your spirit animal. Someone's coming in to encourage you. You're encouraging yourself. You're taking care of what you need to take care of. You're a one ring circus. Right? You're wandering circus. And that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I'm live every Thursday night as long as I feel good because I do have a chronic illness that I suffer with on a daily basis. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Time over on TikTok, Roots and Rewards. Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards. Jesse also over here on YouTube. might be having some sales coming up for Easter for you guys for uh, personal reads so keep an eye out for that and I may also be doing a, a card pull uh, yeah we're gonna do a card pull sometime in April for you guys that can't afford the full read It'll probably be like $15 card pull, but I'll let you guys know when I come on for that. Probably just go for the first 20 people because uh, it does pull a lot of energy. But that's it. Have yourself a happy Easter. Next up is going to be water signs. And that's it. Keep yourself in high regard, guys. Bye.